Let's look at the employee's rights and obligations in the payment of employment income tax. Like, what are their duties and then what do they have a right to? Yeah, so we shall start with the employee's obligations, like their duties. And the first one is that if an employee has one employment and his or her employer has duly submitted the payee returns and remitted the tax, then he or she is not obliged to submit an end year, an end of year return. Like if I only have one job and my employee has already my employer has already deducted the tax from my salary and then sent it to URA, I'm not supposed to give them any more tax or give them a statement about my earnings if my employer has already done it. Then another obligation is that where an employee has multiple employment sources or other sources of income from business or property, then he or she is obliged to submit an end-of-year return of income. If you have more than one source of income, you are supposed to submit the end-of-year return of income. The return of income, it shows the statement of your income, like how you earn in the year. Yeah, but if you have only one employment, only one job, you're not supposed to do that. So employees driving income from more than one source are required to complete an end-of-year return to declare it must show their total income from all sources, including business income. Then it must show the total taxes paid at the source, such as payee, withholding tax, or provisional tax. Yeah, and this excludes the presumptive tax and rental tax paid by such an employee. Then it must also show the tax payable. Yeah. So those are the two main duties of or obligations of the employee in employment income tax. The first duty is that if you if you have one source of income, you are not required to submit an end of year return. But if you have more than one source of income, you are supposed to submit an end of year return of income. Yeah, to show the total income from all sources, the total taxes paid at the source, and the taxes payable. Let's look at the employee's rates when it comes to employment income tax. Yeah, first is that an employee is not required to furnish a pay return if tax is fully deducted and paid at the source. Tax paid at the source is that tax paid by a third party. And in this case, it, it is the employer who is the third party. So an employee is not required to furnish a return. Furnishing a return, it is giving the taxation, the, the tax authority information about your income. So you are not supposed to give them information about your income. If your employer already gave them information, about your income, or if your if your employer already de deducted the tax that you're supposed to pay, so you are not supposed to give them anything, because they are not dealing with you; they're dealing with your employer. Yeah. So the first rate is that you're not required to furnish a pay return if tax is fully deducted and paid at the source. Then another rate is that an employee is entitled to claim refunds of overpaid tax where applicable. If you pay tax more than what you are required to pay and you realize later you have a right to go and claim for the for the excess tax that you paid then another rate is that an employee is entitled to accountability for all taxes deducted and paid by the employer they are supposed to give you accountability which amount of, of tax they deducted and why Another right is that an employee is not required to furnish a return of income if his or her only source of income is employment. If you only have one job, if you're only just an employee, you, you do not have any business somewhere else, you don't have any property, you are not supposed to furnish a return or you are not supposed to give the tax authority information about your income.
because your information is already given by your employer. So you are not required to furnish a return of income if your only source of income is employment. Yeah, those are the rights and duties of an employee in employment income tax. Yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share with your friends, and let's catch up in my next video.